Part 2. Installation. Welcome back to our Dear VR Spatial Connect tutorial series. In the first part, we already talked about the Spatial Connect ecosystem and its software components. This part will guide you through the process of downloading and installing Spatial Connect and Dear VR Pro. The technical setup we used for this tutorial is a Windows VR Ready PC with Nuendo 10. To install Spatial Connect, head over to our website at www.dearvr.com and log in with your account. If you don't already have one, simply create a free account by clicking on Create Account at the top right hand corner and typing in your email and password. If you already have one, just log in. Once you're logged in, you can download the Spatial Connect installer within your account in the download section. Just pick your operating system of choice and click on the download button. I would also really suggest that you download the Spatial Connect manual because it's a super important resource for anyone who's using Spatial Connect. Okay, my download has finished. So let's go ahead and launch the installer. Click on Next and agree to the terms and conditions. Spatial Connect supports Reaper and Nuendo 10 for now, but we are working on further DAWs to follow soon. You can customize the installation to your needs and you only need to install the components which fit your setup. As I mentioned in the first part of this tutorial series, the Spatial Connect adapter has to be installed on your machine operating your DAW, while Spatial Connect has to be installed on your VR machine. In this demo case, my machine is running both Spatial Connect and the DAW, and I also want to be able to use either Nuendo or Reaper, so I'll install every component. Just click Next, Install, to finish the installation. I'm just going to quickly save the manual to my documents folder now. Cool. That's it. Now that we've completed our installation of Spatial Connect, it's time to launch our program for the first time. With the launch of Spatial Connect, the Oculus Rift application and Steam VR service will be launched automatically too. If you're using the HTC Vive as your VR headset, only the Steam VR service will be launched. Following the login screen, we're presented with the Dear VR License Manager. Please enter your Dear VR account information and click OK. The License Manager will check your credentials before launching Spatial Connect. You only have to do this the first time when you start the application. Make sure you have an internet connection during the first launch. Now that Spatial Connect is up and running, we want to make sure the whole system is communicating properly. Let's go to Settings and head down to the Connection section. On the top left-hand side, you can see the IP address of the machine running Spatial Connect. If you are setting up your system using two separate machines, please specify this IP address in the Hostname IP input field in the Nuendo Studio settings running on your DAW machine. We're going to skip this step right now as we're using a single machine for both Spatial Connect and Nuendo. On the right side, you can see the local IP address of the machine running the DAW. In our case, it's the local IP address 127.0.0.1 because we're running the DAW Nuendo on the same computer as Spatial Connect. If you're using a two machine setup, you'd have to specify the local IP address of your computer running the DAW in this input field. Below the IP addresses, you can see the corresponding network ports of these connections. These are independent of your setup type, but they have to match their counterparts in the Nuendo Studio settings. Finally, we're looking at the head rotation port, which has to match the port number of the Spatial Connect adapter. In our setup, the Spatial Connect adapter runs on the same machine. In the case of the two machine setup, we would have to check in with the Spatial Connect adapter on our second machine running the DAW. You can also find detailed information on the network communication in our official manual. We'll now go ahead and also install the Deer VR Pro Spatialization plugin. On the Plugin Alliance webpage, head to Products. There you will find the Deer VR Pro section in the product page, which is located right here, and just scroll down to the bottom. In the download section, get your appropriate installation. Again, I would also really recommend downloading the Pro Manual for some detailed info. After that's done, I'm just going to quickly extract these files, which will yield the Deer VR Pro installer. I'll just launch this and follow the instructions. 
I'll install all the plugin formats, but of course, you can restrict this by picking the only ones you really need. Click Finish, and we're done. Now your system is properly set up and you are ready to mix in VR with Dear VR Spatial Connect.